automated web inspection system. We're looking at the, the first of. Um, it, it encompasses our freestanding web viewer, which is this apparatus here. Uh, we have an automated uh, uh, rotation fixture for the part. We're controlling all the motion through uh, Vision Gauge Online. Vision Gauge Online is operated by a PC on a lower shelf and then a uh, power interface. Uh, all of the GUI, the, the uh, graphical user interface, is on this screen. The actual view from the camera is uh, presented on this screen. Uh, I'm going to run through a, a sample program that we wrote to uh, illustrate the motion control features and what it does is it will position the camera uh, to look at the weld which is the other side of this part at, at that location. It will scan it which is a 360 degree rotation. It will then move to a second weld which is under uh, this area on the ID. Uh, it will scan it which is rotation and then retract and move to weld 3 and do the same uh, procedure. It will then retract, instruct the uh, operator to change the lens to uh, a right angle view. It will go into the first uh, weld zone and uh, scan, looking aft at the web face, from the, uh, uh, its greatest depth up to its uh, bore ID. And then it will retract and that's the end of that demonstration program. So we'll run this and actually the operator would do as I'm doing, which is put on the correct uh, optical adapter. And in this case, uh, I need my zero degree adapter uh, elements. So they go in and with a quarter turn, uh, capture uh, a J slot on the, the camera body. Yeah. Um, the operator would then assure that he's in the home position, which we can get to either by using a, uh, a mouse and cursor on a control window for motion, or we can use a, a separate um, operating pendant. So retraction should be at a... I need to go to the hard stop. Uh, elevation needs to go to uh, its hard stop. Uh, so at this point I can tell the program to run. And it's telling me that I'm working on scan plan uh, 4129T90 or 50, excuse me, that's the actual number of that part. Uh, it's reminding me that I should put the zero degree adapter on, which I've done. Um, it's telling me that I should home or set zero, which I've already done. Um, and then it's uh, asking for operator information. And in this case, it's asking for what is the serial number of the part. Uh, from that point on, the motion will automatically run. This is the exciting part. Uh, it's positioned the camera head at the uh, best location to see the entire weld uh, section of the drum. Now this is a 360 degree rotation. Retraction. position on uh, weld 2. The rotation uh, sequence is uh, putting the drum uh, at its zero reference. Now it's 360 degrees scan.
moving into position on weld number three. scan of weld number three. Now we'll retract to a uh, position outside of the part so the operator can make a uh, lens change. The screen prompt is telling me to make the lens change. So simple. I, tell I, I let the program know that I have made that change. This is a right angle view lens, as I mentioned earlier. It's going to go in, position itself at the, uh, the base of the web, which is a, a vertical structure inside this part. Um, and from that location, it'll do a scan. And the scan is a, a circumferential scan of the part, 360 degrees, an increment to assure 10% overlap. Then again, a 360 degree rotation of the part, increment uh, the A axis, as we call it again, rotate, and it'll continue to do that until it's had 100% coverage of that surface.